The gospel, when it's believed, it bears fruit and it increases worship. You will be transformed. There will be fruit in your life. I was driving this week and it was one of those long lines. You ever get stuck in those long lines? I mean, even Sebastopol, you can get stuck in a long line and that's, that's where it was. And so, I mean, 15 more minutes than I ever wanted to spend on that street. And, and then there's this long pile up and there's cars waiting to get in and get through. And, and I'm going through and Luis Palau's on the radio, gospel preacher. Luis Palau's talking about 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind. You know? and, and I'm hearing this. It's like the gospel's too good. You got to apply the gospel, right? It should touch every part of our lives. So I'm looking at it, all these people waiting. And I just said to that guy over there on my left, I said, go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, he's a little shocked because he had been just seeing nobody letting him in. I said, go ahead. And then the next guy comes up and he's looking at me like, me too? <laughs> you got another one? You know, it's like, I'm listening to Luis Palau. I'm on 1 Corinthians 13. You come too, buddy. And, uh, and then there's another one. I was like, yeah, that's right. That's right. And I look over to my right and then they're getting the idea. And so they're looking at me like, are we in? You know, is the gospel for Jews and Gentiles? And I'm like, yeah, you go too. You're in too. And, and pretty soon these cars are going through and I'm just joy. And I'm thinking before I know the Lord, what am I doing? Road rage, frustrated. The gospel should touch every part. And it's like, yeah, absolutely. Let's 1 Corinthians 13, this traffic jam. Let's do this. And then it becomes fun. And when you become a Christian, you're following Jesus, stuff that used to stress you out. Now it's an opportunity to serve. And it gets even more fun. 